Welcome back to another episode of the Will Hood Show. Today we got a returning guest, Tiana. Tiana, tell the people who you are. Well, remind the people who you are. Um, I'm Tiana Pinkston. I'm a fashion designer and a new starting tattoo artist, too. So um, I'm actually pretty good. Um, I'm located in Evergreen Park. And my number is on the board. You actually have to make an appointment to see me. You cannot just drop by. Ooh, y'all hear that? Don't, don't don't pull up on me. Nope. You no ain't call. Uh uh-uh. uh. We ain't here. No pull ups. A- ain't nobody home. <laughs> no. Call I me see first. the curse moving. So, <laughs> call so me that, first. that don't mean we here. I don't care if you see me in there. You cannot come in. No. I can see. Act like I'm invisible. <laughs> Act like I'm invisible. Yes. <laughs> I mean, but shit, you more than just a fashion designer. Shit, you making what, what's your newest endeavor? Um, right now, I'm working on a uh, suitcase luggage set. So, yeah. Um, I guess I could broaden that term, but I don't know. I guess I'll add carpentry to the list. Of stuff. <laughs> Maybe I have to cut up my own wood to put on the back of the, um, the this, suitcase. This is just so. a, a fashion op- entrepreneur at this point, right? Yeah, just... okay. I'll, I'll do that. Fashion entrepreneur. That makes sense because I just try everything. Just see if I can. What made you go suitcase? I don't know. I love making handbags, honestly. So right. I may be making all type of handbags, but I don't know. I was just like, mm, let me see if I can make it. <laughs> One time I just, I mean, I'd be up late at night. Like just, if I don't work until like three, four, five o'clock in the morning, my mind is just going to be up wondering, like thinking about the work that I'm supposed to be doing during the like hours. Like you more of a night owl? Yeah. That, that's where you thrive? That's what it seems like. I be trying my best to function, not like to work nine to five, to be in that. It just does not work for me. <laughs> <laughs> it does not work for me. So, so you're not going to put me in no cage. Yeah, I can't. I be trying because you, I mean, ideally it would work out cool because then you off, you can have the rest of your day and stuff like that. But even if I were to work with them them hours, I would get home and be up until that time because yeah. I did not finish working. <laughs> so No, I'm the same. I'm a night owl. Like, so... I get my best jokes, my best thoughts, middle of the fucking night. It always comes to me at the middle of the night. <laughs> Either that or like when I very first wake up. Because I have like crazy lucid ass dreams. Hmm. Like shit be like damn near real. And like my dreams be crazy. It just they just be wild. And like the only time I could tell when I'm about to wake up, because I start pointing out flaws in the dream. I'm like, I don't what the think fuck? I... This ain't my house. Why why are we here? I go, Oh, this is a dream, then I wake up. Like, what the fuck was that? I I don't think I ever really realized at the time. It just always feels so real. Like, it's something that's, like, really happening for real. (laughs) Or is about to happen. I don't know. But, and then sometimes I don't be remembering them. I get up and I forget everything that I dreamt about. (laughs) Yeah, now, usually if I don't, like, start talking about it as soon as I wake up, it just slowly fades away. Like, the shit never happened. Is it normal not to remember your dreams? Because I I don't be remembering at all. Like, (laughs) done? They no. say it's imp- like they say it's a big deal if you do remember the dreams. I do know that for fact. For it's fact. supposed to mean something yeah. if you can. But it's weird because dreams don't always mean exactly what you saw in the dream. It could be a deeper meaning, but there's no way to really know. <laughs> Which is crazy because like dreams are supposed to be like a regulation of your day. I heard that, but then I also heard this theory that we go through like astral projection or something like we're in another realm this, somewhere like and i kind of feel like that might be believable because dreams do feel so weird like yeah. they feel real like you really in this stuff right now <laughs> yeah like in, like really in the space having the conversations and oh no i i have like a lot of deja vu and yeah. i usually have it from my dreams that's what make me think that it is something that's like is either sending you a message or something because I don't think that's really deja vu. Maybe that's like a premonition or something. Yeah, no, nah, I because if mean, something happened that it. you didn't see in a dream already, I think that's definitely a premonition for yeah, sure. It'd it be, it be tripping me out because like I can see like the beginning of like deja vu, right? And yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? I did this shit before. And I'm like, so and so for the hit the corner, and boom, here they come. So and so for do this, this one happen, boom, 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 boom. And they're like. I don't remember. <laughs> so it's like little small blocks of my day when I feel deja vu. Yeah. I can call out the next five things. I'm going to need my dreams to get these lottery numbers one time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> get it together, the dreams. Just one time for the one time. And shit, if I got to put my nephew name on there to give me better luck, shit, I'm real. <laughs> I will gladly slip with that and make sure his parents don't touch it. That is his money. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Nope. I don't care. They, 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 I disseminate their ass money. <laughs> If he want to share it with y'all, that's on him. But that is his money. 
All right, before we get into what she's talking about, this is something we're going to talk about in a little bit. Anything else you're working on you want to tell people about? Like, you just had a little photo shoot with the... the... Oh, my Stone and Bud photo shoot. I, um, I still need to do another one with just the bags um, to kind of focus on those. But right now, I mean, I, I'm making a couple Freak Nick outfits. People have been talking about Freak Nick parties and stuff yeah. that they throw throwing. So I'm going to be advertising for making those, too. Yeah, I guess so. Well, okay. They bring it back that fashion. <laughs> So I'm definitely accepting custom orders for that, um, for Freak Nick outfits, because I know people doing... So the place of custom stuff. order, they just call you? No, they have to book online. Oh, okay. Yeah, so What's the website? Plug the website. Never mind. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> the link is so long, but my website is Royal Pink Shop, uh, royalpinkshop.com, and you can actually go to book on the website, and okay. it'll take you to the link, but the link is so long, it's no, like... No, 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 just just, <laughs> just remind me to put okay. it in the description. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how does a typical booking go for you? Um, it depends on what they're booking for. So like if it's a tattoo So if it's a freak or... outfit, what 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 would that how would that look? I'm just um, being nosy at this point. Oh, well, you know, the, <laughs> the booty shorts, um, like the bralette tops, yeah. stuff like that. You know? saying? So they, they they go online, they book it, and then what? Oh, and then they would just come in and get the measurements taken, mm-hmm. and then we go over like design options, oh, okay, and okay. how they want it to look. But it's a lot of stuff that you could really do with the freak Nick design. <laughs> so it's really open. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> one of the ones that I did, I made, I used the uh, Crown Royal bags um, to make. I worked it into the tops and the top and the shorts. Yeah, and then it's another one. I think I'm gonna use like rhinestone chains and put on there. But it's really just freestyling denim outfits. <laughs> <laughs> That's really what it is. What was like one of your most difficult pieces you had to make today, to date? The the luggage. It took me a whole year to actually make it because I said this a year ago. I bought the stuff for it and I was like, I'm gonna make it. But then. I get caught up doing other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I said this year I was going to stop that uh, procrastinating Procrastinate. stuff because <laughs> I, it's so much stuff that I will make and then sit aside because I'll feel like, oh, well, maybe it's not ready yet. But I'm just going to just start putting stuff Say, out. Fuck I'm it. Done. <laughs> Y'all go get whatever I make. Yeah, that's really what it is. And rock that shit. <laughs> but people always, every time, I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, I guess they're not really used. To, they're already not used to younger people sewing. But, like, I'm always going in there buying, like, leather fabrics and stuff. And Wait, who ain't? What? A lot of people not really used to it. They be so shocked when they see me. Shopping and they're for like, like what, are you, what are you finna do? I'm like, no, I... I can make stuff like they be thinking you could just make like little dresses and stuff like that. But like when they see me out and I'm like, oh, I made my coat, my bag and the outfit I'm wearing, like, you know, <laughs> like stuff like that. And they're like, oh, you, you make coats and stuff too? Like, yeah, <laughs> I know how to make everything. I don't try to limit myself to just making gowns. Or, you weren't supposed to be able to. <laughs> I, I mean, they be so shocked. Like, wow, you, you doing all of this? Like, yeah. So if I know another human being made it, I can make it too. Hundred percent. Like <laughs> they ain't different than me. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I'm gonna try it. But yeah, the luggage is probably the the biggest one. I'm just gonna keep pushing through. But yeah, you got it. Can't wait to see the finished product. Um, I love it all right. so far. You said what? I love it so far. It's huge though. Like how big? Like it's obviously not thirty seven inches tall. Okay. And the top part, since it's shaped like a joint, the top part, I think, is like maybe 26, 27 inches. Look the right. bottom is like 14 inches wide. You gonna put wheels on that thing? Yep. But then the part sticks out to about maybe 11 inches, so it'll probably Imagine stick out to 11, 12 inches. Oh, hell no. That would be oh, as big, big as hell. Yeah. It's you big. say 36 inches tall, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's 37. Tall. 37. 37 inches tall. My bad. Inches matter. <laughs> that little one inch make a big difference. Fuck you, mean you better have my inch. <laughs> but I had to make it taller since it wasn't gonna be as wide, wide as yeah. a traditional uh, suitcase. So, mm. but yeah, I like the shape. It's definitely different. Um, it might be some controversy with the color combination that I use. Why? Well, usually I keep my. Um, bags to be like true to whatever it is i'm making like the joints are usually yeah. white the blunts are usually brown and stuff like that but i'm making it in pink and um i use green 
for the weed, so the bag is pink and green. <laughs> <laughs> so where are these women gonna get on your ass? I mean, I hope might, that's not the case. Oh, that's what, the that's green what they, is the, they got a pink and green. Yeah, that's what, AKA. AKA, because oh. it was just a post about that too. Is that that they might be the ones to buy it. Fuck you mean. Buy it then. Don't get mad. Buy it. No, because they try. I heard they tried to get Fashion Nova shut down because they made a pink and green outfit. They didn't put AK or nothing on it. it was but just they pink put and like green? a pink and green and they tried to get them shut down for that. Boy, they don't get that. I'm trying to think how I've ever seen it. Not anything. even a culture for turn sorority shit. Yeah, because the joint don't have nothing. It's only green because I always put green at the end of them. Because it's green. <laughs> <laughs> Weed is green. So <laughs> that's the color I'm going to use. It's but I have been rapper. using it. Pink, so. <laughs> but yeah, it's pink and green. So hopefully it'll be more positive. But either way, yeah, they can share my right. stuff and be mad. And I could get orders that way too. So 100%. <laughs> Be mad and show everybody. Yeah, show everybody <laughs> how pissed off you are about this awesome ass suitcase that you could just literally order. Because <laughs> I, I don't think you could trademark colors. No, no. you can't. Right. So, <laughs> no, you that, can't. It's crazy that they Not even color somebody. combination. No, right. that's, it's crazy. No. That's crazy. <laughs> they could trademark their name, their right. logo, and that's it. <laughs> you crazy. can't just be out here trademarking colors. This is AKA Green. You know, you realize we wouldn't be able to wear nothing. <laughs> Everything would be bought up. We wouldn't right. be able to wear nothing. Like, how black is that black shirt? <laughs> Pulling out their charts and shit. No, my trade. Yeah, you you owe me you, some money you, for you that. <laughs> you almost. You must have washed it. Somebody <laughs> did trademark a color. Now that I think about it. Ooh. So he made the uh, the uh, impossible like the, it's black. So it's so it's so dark that but if you shine light on the color, it, it will absorbs. not be no reflection. Yeah. It absorbs it. He trademarked that. Is it the color or the material? It might be the material because that sounds yeah. like something it's, custom. It's, it's yeah. the material and yeah. the color. You can trademark your your fabric because like if it's something that's made specifically with your brand or from whoever you got a contract with or whatever, people can't try yeah. to replicate that. Okay. Yeah, it's it's the material, but the that actual color, color yeah. to say you own black, right? Because they say you can't trademark common names and things right. like that. Oh, maybe, maybe. That's why it's an issue with Google now because they're starting to say that that name is considered it's public common domain. now. Because yeah. people don't say search it no more; they say Google, Google it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's crazy. You can lose you can lose ownership to something because it became public common. domain. Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Hey. It is. <laughs> All right. Let's get to the bullshit. I was laughing about the lottery ticket and talking about putting your nephew name on there. <laughs> there, there was a story of a lady and her nephew. They, uh, she wrote both their names down on the back of the lottery ticket. And for people who don't know, when you do that, those are the owners. If you write just your name, then you have ownership over that, and only you could claim the prize. So she wrote his name on there, like, like for good luck type stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then it hit. It hit for 1.2 million dollars. So they go to get the big, you know, the big check, but then they hand them two you know, re real checks for like 600,000 a piece. Mm -hmm. And her aunt was pissed. We're talking about, she only put his name on there, you know, as a show for good luck for him, that she should get all the money and she's suing him. She goes sue her nephew for the rest of her $600,000. <laughs> <laughs> That's some greasy shit. That's fucked up. First of all, you did put his name on the list. Now I don't, how old is the nephew? I don't, I don't know. I guess it's irrelevant, but to be honest, he's an adult. Okay, yeah. Get that man at six. What you, you come on? <laughs> <laughs> come on, you auntie. Name, I don't think that. But just because you take somebody to court, don't mean you're gonna win. So that's what people be under the impression. If they suing somebody, that mean they're gonna win the money. She could be just wasting her own money because now you're going to take him. He got to get representation too. So yeah, but whoever loses is still gonna have to pay the other person's Not court the time, costs. He has to counter sue. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He would win that then, because she's not gonna win that case. Yeah, that's that's. <laughs> I, and sometimes in those cases, the judge may still order them to do that. You never know. But yeah. she's still wasting people's time with this. If you she, wrote if, his name on there. If, if she can prove some sort, of, I don't know what, but some sort of extenuating circumstances that made, you know, both of them sign their name on his ticket or yeah. her sign. Then she might have a case. How could you prove it? That's what I'm saying. I don't know what, that what like circumstances. Those people don't care nothing about none of that. They just see two names on the list and they issue two checks. They don't care what you got going on. This sounds like a case for Steve Harvey. Like, <laughs> like, why would you waste that? Because no. I, I equate it to like prenups. If you have your your significant other sign a prenup, maybe like a couple weeks before the wedding. But, but you, you can claim it was signed under distress at No, that's what I'm saying. That's, they, they, that's what they consider. Uh, uh, extenuating circumstances. She was under distress. I, they can, she can, if she can prove something yeah, similar. Yeah, Nolan Void. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just saying. Unless like, they talk 
prior about it. Like if I win, we split it. And then you know, still, I mean, 60, but you, you, you got to prove or, that. That's hearsay. Yeah. Like you still have to prove because I'm lying. Fuck you, me. Like, we, we went half. Like <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stick to my story. I don't care nothing about none of that. We could agree right now to uh, go now, auntie, to go twenty eight. You said no, we, we could have split it half and half, and <laughs> you really offered to give me seven, and I'm like, no, we could go ahead and do six hundred. Unless it's some sort of text message. But you ain't finna sit yeah. up here and lie. No, nah, like I said, no, we could verbally agree. Go twenty eight right. right now. We cool. You my homie. But I'm saying we went half. Like <laughs> they yeah. cut a check for half. You put fuck you mean? Yeah. Even if she bought the ticket, you only pay what? I don't know. I a don't dollar something. It depends on the tickets, tickets you bought. True, whatever. It doesn't matter. You won. They only counting one ticket. So the one right. ticket that it's they paid version. for was right. probably like a few dollars. Right. You got your money back and then some. <laughs> Six hundred thousand dollars. You cry about your nephew. This ain't like some random coworker or something. You know what I'm saying? This is your blood, G. Well, I'll cut shorty off. She wouldn't even be my auntie no more. <laughs> <laughs> After you I know. win that case, she definitely wouldn't be my auntie no more because that's crazy. I now you finna waste all money to go to court about something that you not even gonna win. Like, that's stupid. So they end up settling out of court, though. And he took 300000 A little bit over 300000 And she got to kept. I wouldn't have budged. So she... She, he was like out here. I mean, he still came. He said, "That's my auntie G." No, yeah. man, whatever. No, not no more. <laughs> <laughs> she would have been dead to me after that. Boy, don't say nothing to me. <laughs> you Whoa. did all of this, and she bet she finna run through all that money. For real, yeah, you did all that crying. You finna, you finna spend this very foolishly. Like, just keep it a buck. Um, fuck okay, it. Let's go. Let's, let's, there off of that too. Let's let, let's <laughs> let's talk. You on Twitter? Kind of. I don't really get it. I be feeling like an old person. <laughs> and I don't have I a huge agree. following on Twitter neither. Yeah. Twitter, Twitter is one of the places like... <sighs> you had to get into it when it was hot. Like, people know it. And they, it's like they hard, it's hard for them to explain the Twitter world or whatever. It's like a like diary. Some Open diary. Like I mean, that's what Facebook was like at first. It still is. People yeah. put their business out on Facebook. <laughs> I love that. I be all it's, in more, it's more enclosed because you can only have a certain amount yeah, of... Yeah, your friends. Yeah. Yeah. Twitter is the world, I guess. You know what I'm saying? You can anybody. But can see Facebook it is like that now too, because you can have your stuff public. Yeah. And people on or off Facebook but, can see your stuff. Yeah. But there's no discovery on that. Your status or someone who's not your friend is not going to pop up on their timeline, unless somebody else share it. On Twitter, they they'll just show you some shit. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Facebook algorithm work like that sometimes. I ain't never seen nobody. Because really? I've seen people and it'll come up as follow. You, if you haven't noticed that, uh, like they, if you they do it, show you like, don't follow. Like it's not somebody that you know about, but yeah. they still put it down your. I ain't feed. see. I ain't. I, I, I guess I ain't paid that much attention. But, but I, I, I notice it because it. it's like a blue. You know, yeah. you got the I know you're not. Now that you mentioned, I've seen. It, I just do, do, it. do it pop up like an ad. Not an ad. Uh, just a regular not an video. ad. Have uh, like a it could call. be a regular person posting something on Facebook, but like they push it. I think that's just how the algorithm works. Yeah, yeah. But Elon Musk bought Twitter for forty four billion dollars. Bullshit. Curtis think there's something behind it. Then he canceled somebody Tesla order because <laughs> they was talking stuff. Was that really true? Nah, I, I don't it. know. Somebody I don't think you could they, do that. He canceled somebody Tesla order because of something they put. Some white dude. I doubt something. it because he's all he about... He pushing free speech, but yeah, then he say, do that. Yeah, that's, he, that he looks but he, That's what I'm saying. They, that's what it said in the what you call it. I doubt because he's, he's good at taking jokes, though. So people take jabs at him all Maybe the time. Maybe he was joking. I don't know. Yeah, then he, he did didn't. say he was going to buy Coca-Cola again and put cocaine in <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he did, he did say that. that. And, and, and I tweeted, I could see Elion um, doing Eli, Eli. Too. He can't say Elon for shit. What? <laughs> Elon, Elion, who the hell is Elion? Ain't that's how you, well, fuck e- Elon, Elion, what the fuck the nigga name no, is? No, there's two different people. I don't think it really matter. He don't know his name. <laughs> so why he gotta know his? <laughs> no, but. You don't know what Elon know. But, <laughs> right? No, no, but I could see Elon doing the uh, line or two. Yeah? Yes. He seemed like a type to do a line or two. The shit he named his kids, yeah. <laughs> what he named his kids? Him who and the old girl. Knows? Yeah, this ex some shit, I don't know. Let me see. You know they love to talk about our names being ghetto, but they be coming up with some ghetto ass names they sell. <laughs> but he he's saying that I I think it, I think it is something to him buying Twitter Twitter though because I right, so I said uh, two, it's two reasons nobody else bid it and then it it happened so fast mm-hmm. so usually when you when somebody buying a, a company that big that's just it's some stupid shit, ain't it? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> said, what is that? How do you even pronounce that? It I, I don't like know. An equation. I, 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 I they, 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 they said what it's supposed to be, but I'm like, 
I don't even give a fuck to even try to figure it out. Mm-mm. Geometry. Little <laughs> geometry, come in. Little <laughs> geometry. Algebra, geometry. I can't tell which one is supposed geometry to be. Geometry must. <laughs> Le- I don't know what the hell that is. Little algebra. Little algebra, algebra. go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> they better be homeschooled. You be, they be trying to get them kids talking. Trigonometry, little trick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Elon Musk. Kids make fun of him at school. He'll buy school. They're not gonna care that his kid is a billionaire. Or whatever. I'm about to school. Now your kid don't go here no more. <laughs> Bully them now. Fuck you, mean. Oh my goodness, them poor babies. But no, he he bought it, and like I said, he's pushing free speech. Even um, though it doesn't, if it's always that's some bullshit. I hope he buy Facebook then, because I'm tired of what's his name. <laughs> Zuckerberg. Zucker, yes. Zuckerberg. Everybody getting these suspensions. Yeah. <laughs> and it be for dumb stuff, but then it be certain stuff that I be confused on how they let still get shared that yeah, they don't yeah. report. Yeah, I definitely so. seen some uh, some uh, fellatio and uh, all right. type of wild stuff, right. but they'll block you for saying a certain word or something. But I if you say nigga too much, T. Brew. Oh yeah, I wanted to do who I do our uh, sports, sports show. T. P. O. Sports. Make sure I watch it. Post it every Friday, uh, Saturday. Um, he, he got he got thirty days because uh, something happened at the college, and he was like, burn the whole school down. Boom, thirty days. Yeah, but it, <laughs> they don't pay. It, they don't pay attention to ref. To what is it reference to? They only no. Care. They don't. They just pay attention to the words. Right. That's it. Because I, it was a post that somebody shared, and this is another thing that pissed me off, and that's I noticed it in the black community. That's why I be sticking to myself. <laughs> but <clears throat> it was a post going around where people was like, um, "I'm finna be on white shit this summer. Y'all could keep them shootouts or something or drive by." So meth. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Type of shit is that? That's what I was trying to figure out. So I'm gonna be on white people shit. Y'all keep them shootouts. Okay. So I commented on the look. I commented on the post. I said, "So what? Y'all finna be what shooting up high schools or something? <laughs> is that what you're saying in theaters and shit? Like, is that I, they I blocked mean, that me? One, <laughs> they told Are me they... I can't go live for 30 days. <laughs> but I'm like, so it was okay for them to share this racist shit about black people and say, "Oh, I'm gonna be on white people shit." Mark Zuckerberg say, how dare you make fun of our culture? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. Stripping up schools is there, y'all culture. Definitely in y'all culture. What do you mean? Don't that try to hilarious. say shootouts is only for black people. Y'all Shoot out. shooting out hey. too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's some on both sides. Come on now. Nah, yeah, but, but he's supposed to be for free speech. And uh, he's supposed to be releasing Twitter's algorithm so people can learn how to post. You, oh, okay. That's smart. So yeah, know, I hate this algorithm shit. I hate, I hate that, that it's a secret. That's what I fucking hate. Yeah. Like, if y'all go change this shit every fucking three days, at least tell me what the fuck yeah. it is. Because, matter of fact, on it, you, you got a Facebook page, right? Mm-hmm. For your business. So, I got a Twitter, too. I just so don't be on it as often. When you, when you, do you, if you ever schedule posts on your, um, on your Facebook page, do it tell you, like, what's the best times to post? Somebody sent me something that told me the best times to post for <laughs> Instagram. For Facebook, it was a screen. They all different, yeah. yeah. They all different. Cause, cause when we when like when we uh like when I chop up the Wheel Hill show stuff, I post it on our Facebook page. It 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 gives you like, oh, you should post this on Tuesday. Post post the. Oh, it don't tell week. me a certain day. It, it, it tell like when you uh, when you go to schedule posts on your Facebook, check it out. It it, it tells you the. Best I haven't time used to post. it in a while, but I'm I'm gonna look at it. it. It's the cause you know they 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 separated it so you don't just do everything in. In uh, regular Facebook, right, yeah. they got a whole nother business thing. Right, yeah, I got yeah. that. Okay. Oh, no. You think Elon Musk's mind Twitter is going to change how people use Twitter? I don't know much about how people use Twitter. So. I guess change the users? Because I know a lot of people was like, oh, Donald Trump's going to come back once Elon Musk buy Twitter because it's going to be more free speech. Even though Donald Trump was like, nah, right. you know, he's making his own social media platform. I would never do I've been one. planning on going over there and like checking it out, though. No. Is it up? Yeah, it's called uh, no. Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's I, I was Mm-mm. I was looking at it. I, was I like, would not join his social. Yeah, they saying they they saying it, it ain't going nowhere though. <laughs> it shouldn't. Why would you Why would you start one? Hold on, let's see what it's called. I, I mean, if called. you was ever on Twitter, let's say 2012, mm-hmm. it was a wild wild west. Everything That's was what everybody keeps saying. The, the f the the you know people saying faggot and shit. All that shit was flying and without without a care. I was like. Yo, if you go back, because and- I think feel like I feel like they should start at least investigating because and look at the context. You can't just ban somebody for saying a word, a specific word. You don't even know what it's in reference to. Right. <laughs> they just banning people because that word was said. 
It's called Truth Social. Yeah. Then they don't get you. They don't give you a chance to challenge nothing. You just gotta. That's it. Yeah, take that L. <laughs> Sit your ass down. Yeah. I will say the social media has taught me how to word stuff better. Yep. So I can get away with shit. Yep. Saying certain shit. Because if you see my Facebook page, I be saying some shit, and I'll never get banned. If I got banned because of that comment, not usually because of my post, but yeah, I got banned because of that comment for sure. Uh, do you think free speech is like part of America? No, well, I'll finish I think it is. Media. I think it's a part of this generation in general. We are an outspoken generation. Because, like, I host the open mic on Mondays, and uh, I'll be talking to other people who host mics, and they ban people, like, for certain things. I have yet to ban somebody from coming to my open mic because of what they said. I think everybody's entitled to their five minutes. <laughs> you can say what the fuck you want to say. <laughs> Just don't talk about me. Uh, <laughs> almost, I, had, I had to, almost had to fight this one dude because he he got crossed the line. He, <laughs> crossed, he, the line. he crossed the fucking line. Sometimes I, I, people have you fucked up. I just I don't. No, see. he most definitely did. I, I ain't banned <laughs> him though. I'm gonna beat his ass. He could have came back. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to catch his hand. That's what I tell people all the time. If you gonna say something, he just lost be, his man. Ain't no be, be, prepared, him. be prepared for the consequences. Yeah, you can you say do. what you want to say, but if somebody want to fight you in the parking lot, you better know how to fight. So <laughs> either that or shut the fuck up. Those two things. Like, uh, just a few weeks ago, um, we had this one girl, full Karen, the whole fucking night. Everybody, somebody would say something. Yeah, you can't say that. I'm like, uh, yes, they can. They most definitely can. It's like, that's not right. Well, it doesn't matter if it's right or wrong. He has the... Why are you coming to comedy if it's not... And she, she went up there and is, I wouldn't even say bombed, because that's new, new bad on stage, we call that bombing. She didn't even bomb. She just went up there and, like, ranted about how people don't take things serious. Everybody thinks stuff is a joke. I say, well, you Everything are at a comedy club. <laughs> no, fuck that. You are at a comedy club. Like, <laughs> are we supposed to be serious? <laughs> well, we come here to tell jokes. <laughs> Thank you. Come on now. That's hilarious. Talking about everybody make everything. Yes, you have to. This That's how black hilarious. people get through life. Because I went <laughs> right behind her. I was like, well, let's get back to the funny. <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't even mean it in a bad way, but everybody. Was I would have like, meant it in a bad way. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, that was genius." I'm like, oh, "I was being serious." Yeah, no, was, I would have meant it in a bad way. That shit was ass, and she smelled like old McDonald's pickles. <laughs> <laughs> so, in what scenario were you in where you smelled some old yeah, McDonald's I, pickles? <laughs> no, no. Did you? <laughs> you know what McDonald's pickles smell like? She smelled like old ones, like just dated ones. I didn't smell them, but if they I smell like something, she's, that's what she's supposed to smell like. <laughs> and I don't like pickles. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I'm like, damn, girl, what the fuck? And she, like, in the comedy club, people talking, it's kind of loud, so she was close to me. And I'm like, <clears throat> fuck. I'm like, and you, you want to complain out of all days? You, eat. <laughs> you got the McDonald's, the, the pickle stuck underneath your tongue, like, dude, I was SpongeBob? What the <laughs> fuck? Like,. <laughs> So just on the one thing that on the freedom of speech stuff, I think people get continuously get it confused. Like mm -hmm. freedom of speech is not provided by Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. Mm -hmm. Freedom of speech is provided by the government. Right. I think when people complain about Twitter banning people for saying stuff, they have a right to complain, but they are not impeding on your freedom of speech. It's you can you can still go to the corner and scream from the top of your lungs whatever the fuck you want to say on Twitter. Mm -hmm. You can still do it, and the government cannot stomp stomp out your freedom of speech. After that, I think people need to like relax. That's like the one dude. Well, that... I think people are only upset because nobody ever reads the terms and conditions because they have community <laughs> guidelines for stuff you're supposed to say. That's yeah. why they always say you went against the community right. guidelines. And then, yeah. it, it, even in the in the uh, community guidelines, they tell you that we can do what the fuck we want. It's there. There's so many, not in so many words, but it's there. It's, it's ours. It's a private it's entity. Stuff. No, it was a uh, it was a story a little while ago. This dude had a pickup truck. Yeah, I eat ass on the back. <laughs> oh wow! Y'all remember that? <laughs> and then so, he uh, has a pickup truck. So okay. uh, on the back of the truck, on the back of the window is that hop I in, eat I eat ass, hop the, in. <laughs> <laughs> the bed is open. He can come back and somebody right there. Like okay. <laughs> I mean, we've been dubbed the eat ass generation, so <laughs> I don't think it started. Blame Lil Wayne. No, nah, hell no. Yeah, I don't blame Lil Wayne. Why blame Wayne? Because he was the main one talking about eating pussy and ass. I think people are just what is they drowning the pussy sauce so into that butt? But I think it's <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I, say, I think people are just more open about talking about it, but I think it's been something that's I been think happening. People are just more open about talking about a lot of things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
Because I always feel like old people act like they didn't have sex but got 12 kids. It's like... (laughs) But no, the dude had I eat ass on the back of his truck uh, as a decal. And um, the police pulled him over and was like, you can't have that. And he was like, what? Well, why not? He was like, what if my child read it? He go, well, good for your child being able to read. Right. <laughs> like, then I have to explain that. And he was like, well, that's the conversation y'all got to have. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, he ended up suing the police department because they towed his car and everything. Oh, they was harassing for, him. Yeah, for obscene language. But Did he beat that case? Yeah, good. and he won. Good. good. I now love got, to see I, it. He has even bigger on his car. Like, yep, <laughs> I love to see it because why would you bother me? Because they're talking about what if my kid, okay. Your kid can read good. All right, good for your kid. You teach him well. Like, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. No, Talk so. about what if I have to explain it? Just say it's a show. I don't know. Just come up with that. <laughs> That's your child. I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, now I'm really taking a step further away with the kid. Like, I want to go see I eat ass. <laughs> hey, make him see it. Shit, I don't know. But it's your family. You deal with that. People be wanting you to be cautious of their problems. No. <laughs> Nah, I, I, think, me. I think freedom freedom of speech is very important. And yeah. Tell your society. son to stop stop minding people's business. I put this up here for the people who this was meant for. Exactly. <laughs> Not him. Quit minding grown folks' business. Okay, period. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's 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 slide to something else. Um which one I want to do. What's something you did with good intention but had a bad outcome? Hmm. Anybody got anything? You got anything? anything? We got my man Spaces in the back of the day chilling with us. Uh, what's something you guys done with good intentions but had a bad outcome? Oh, trying to help this chick from getting beat up by her nigga. And what happened? I almost had to beat up both. Well, not that. <laughs> oh, wow. You you almost had I, no, 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 not almost. Not almost. They called it. Oh man! Like, my people's come outside and everything. We they called it. Ooh. Wow! Stupid Try ass. to save her. Huh? What the fuck? No, I, I, no I wouldn't, I okay. wouldn't even say save. It was just trying to minimize the damage because he was already doing damage. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I learned my lesson there. Like, no, y'all see a chick getting ass beat, either call the cops or just mind my business. Just call the cops, I guess, because you never know. Right. She said, if you see me in the middle of four fighting a grizzly bear, don't help me. Help the bear. <laughs> Period. Help the bear. Hey. That's like, ass finna get it. That's the hottest line any rapper ever said. I'm gonna fuck with nobody saying. <laughs> fuck that. That's the best rap line of all time. Um, you I remember anything even... you know with good intention, but had a bad outcome? I mean, I have so many, but I don't think we have enough time. We we could we could do one. <laughs> <laughs> Cause then some of them I kind of. You can say what the fuck you want to say. That's true. That's true. It's the Will Hill show, baby. That is true. I just I don't know. I haven't have to really pick one. It's so much. That's why I don't do good shit for people. <laughs> Damn, how much good shit point, turned so out bad. No more like, good Samaritan uh, for you. <laughs> <laughs> it always ends bad. Cause walk past that motherfucker is on fire. Okay, yeah. Let me... <laughs> that's the definition. I wouldn't piss on fire to put you out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's yeah. That's really what it is. <laughs> you just learn to just mind my business. Somebody struggling, let them just be struggling. So maybe he was cold. <laughs> Uh, oh, no. this warm <laughs> You'll be mad at me for putting this flame out. Oh, t- you never know. That, like in the Incredibles movie, when dude sued him because he saved his life and he was trying to kill, kill himself. himself. Him. <laughs> I think he won that case. I'm like, how? Committing suicide is illegal. You're not supposed to commit murder. How did he win the case? <laughs> well, he said he shouldn't try to save his life. Dumb. That's why I mind my business. You don't know what's going on. You try to, I be watching too many horror movies. It's always somebody out there looking for help, trying to capture somebody. <laughs> no, that's why I mind my business. I didn't even see this. See, I feel like I'm too heavy to get captured. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, because they be in the room. <laughs> you be sitting like a rotisserie chair. <laughs> No, I they gotta get me first. They, bro, hey, if somebody, it could be up multiple. They be in vans and bro, stuff. If somebody snatch me up, y'all should be worried. <laughs> I would be like, how the fuck did I get this? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. I get yeah. snatched up. Just stay in the house. Don't come out no more. It is dangerous outside. Okay, I, I was just thought be, we might be like. 
<laughs> well, oh, just take that L. <laughs> <laughs> they can get you. What's that's why you have to be aware of your surroundings, for real. And that's why I don't be the type of person that be a good Samaritan. No. You think you be aware of your surroundings? Yeah. You think if somebody was following you in your vehicle while you was driving, you'll notice? Yes. Fuck no. I think so. Fuck no. Not the way women drive. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you're assuming you're assuming that I drive fast for one or and reckless. Or that don't mean I drive reckless. I don't drive reckless. Nah, gonna... My dad taught me how to drive. My mom did not. She was a crazy driver. <laughs> you had a great teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He he taught me how to drive, so I know how to drive. I mean, just to be funny, most women either drive extremely fast or extremely too slow. No. This is this is I meant mean, to be a joke, limit. women. Don't I'm joking, but you know it's true. Uh, <laughs> it's not true. Mostly true. Uh, <laughs> Somewhere in the middle. Yeah. No, nah, some of y'all are decent drivers. Now, yeah. what people consider well, slow, everybody yeah. has a different definition. I go the speed limit. Like, Don't be in the left lane on expressway doing the speed limit. That's slow. No, I don't go on the left lane. <laughs> no. Have you ever been with, in a car where a woman pissed and she driving? I do what? Why she pissed. Why she upset? Oh, I oh, thought like, like urination. <laughs> I was say, hold say, on, uh, uh, let me out. <laughs> you ain't got to squat. You ain't got to do nothing. Hold on. <laughs> Pull over, <laughs> right? We, we got time, Shorty. <laughs> <laughs> no, but have you ever been uh, in the passenger seat while a woman is driving? No, nah, typically upset? I'm driving. So I have, and then let me tell you, it is. Uh, it was your OG, right? Yes. Ah. <laughs> oh, she was crazy driver. Oh, anyway, so my mom just to the goddamn side of the door. And I was she had a reason, though. We'll, yeah. we'll talk about it. I don't care. She had a reason. All right, Jay, you got anything? I mean, I, I've just had situations where I just know that I don't have a specific example. I just know that I helped somebody, and I ended up being mad that I helped them. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know. I can think of a specific example. Like, I maybe bought some food that didn't get eaten. You know what I'm saying? Like, wasting money like that, but like a, a full-on help situation? No. Yeah, because the problem with helping people is they want you to keep helping them. So once you stop, then that's where the bad outcome comes in. Mm. So that's really what Let's it is. Let's talk about that. Why do y'all think that is? People are users. That's just to sum it up. But, yeah, people like using people. That's what it is. Everybody wants something for free or they want a plug or whatever. <laughs> and that's just that's what that is. But they don't know how people don't people just take. They keep taking as long as you're gonna keep giving them the stuff. They are gonna keep true, taking. True, true. You, you give it to them, they they go. They they not gonna say, oh no, I'm, don't do that. I mean, people are gonna let you that? keep giving it to them. If I'm gonna get it for free, <laughs> I I just don't get when people get mad when you stop helping them. Like, um, I don't know. Maybe are are we not as good people explaining the terms of this I mean, help? Boundaries is definitely a big thing. I guess it's one of those things like those people that's that's already want to take advantage anyway. Yeah. So that's why they getting mad. They already, you know, they in it for whatever whatever they can get out of you. They just use it. Mm -hmm. So of course they gonna get upset when you can't when they can't use whoever they use no more. All right, this ain't really like a segue. I just had a question. Um, fuck, we just talk about something else. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you, how long is your relationship with your oldest friend? Um, there has to be like somebody that you're super close with or just somebody well, who you consider friends your with? friend. Who's your, your friend, what's the longest um, friendship you have? Melanie from Julia. I mean, she make K's and K's. Since, shoot, that was... 2008, 2007, I think. So Sitting since 2007? Now. Yeah. Um, what's your newest? Newest friends? I don't really, like, what? What do you consider new? Like, just made this year? or I, what, What's your newest, I guess, friendship that you made? The shortest length you've been I ain't really got no new friends. You care to make new friends at all, or is this no? Because I, I, I think we're a culture of no new friends, and I think so for me personally, if it just happens, it just happens. But honestly, people be weird, I, I especially with me. People be weird. Why would you? Why? Because you weird, low key. I don't know. I attract men and women, so people be weird. 
<laughs> you, no. you weird sure. around me. I'm glad you said because this is kind of some towards you and your friendship. Not that I am attracted to men and women, but people they just be drawn to me for whatever reason. Sure. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> I have been told like people think, oh, I thought you were gay. I'm like, I'm not gay, like at all. <laughs> I'm not gay no more. No, just... <laughs> <laughs> no more. <laughs> no, not at all. I am delivered. <laughs> I'm mad he's still famous. What the fuck? He is. Uh, I yes. He disappeared. Man, no, he's oh. still around. He probably did disappear with his money. <laughs> no, 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 he's still around making posts and making shade room. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why is he on shade room? Oh, wow. Well, I don't go through all their posts. It have to be certain people that no, I know. I just catch it. Now. And I was like, this is he's still relevant? Like, <laughs> whatever. Um, you could be anything Curtis, to make you relevant now. What's your longest friendship length? Uh,. Ju two, what's what's your longest friendship length? The longest is uh, about fifteen years. About fifteen years. What's your shortest? Shortest is about two or three. Yeah, I think that might have been my longest. Is like four or five. Yo, your longest term friendship is like four or five years. Yeah. See, Curtis is weird. Uh, <laughs> no, because a lot of my friendships, I end up a lot. Sometimes they start out as uh, business. You know, yeah. from business, because mm-hmm. that's what I'm always. So you don't thinking. count that as friendship until they. I, actually... I think I've be, like the my last business partner. I was friends with him for about seven years. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> no, less than that, five years. Okay. And then you know we just. And what's your shortest? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Anyway, the the point I was making is I think that we are a culture of no new friends. No, I've tried. Well, yeah, people be weird. I'm not just you. As... <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm a part of the no new friends culture, but it's just like. Oh, in general, though. Yeah, I've tried. Like, it wouldn't. You but know. in general, we are a culture. But I, I think people do is. have to be weary of other people yeah, a lot of times. Yeah, Can I get the thought out? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Because <laughs> I agree with her. <laughs> See, heard the whole point. I'm just saying, I, what she said already. <laughs> that with. We are a no new friend culture. And I we just are though. Saying you, you, wait, that okay. it's not necessarily. No, no, y'all, y'all went straight into y'all personal. Overall, yeah. I think that's a thing for our generation. People always scream with no new friends because you have to be weary of people. Yeah. So they, we are a lot more reluctant. I think the older you grow, to consider someone a friend, to bring somebody in as it take a, a lot friend. for me to consider people to be friends now. Well, but it didn't take that much when we was younger. No, it See, didn't. But, but yeah, life has shaped us, right? Jay, cool guy. This, this is my homie. Him and his friends are cool. And I was sitting back thinking, I'm like, they some cool ass motherfuckers that I could see myself hanging out with. But it's like, right. I didn't take the step to be, let's make this a friendship. And I, I think I, it kind of just on happens. It. I don't think you really. No, sometimes you got to do things with attention. Some, some, sometimes. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, I, th- I feel like that kind of just happened, y'all. Because I feel like coworkers, you're not friends until one person don't work there no more. I think we come, you become friends with people you work with because you're forced to see them every yeah. fucking week. You, right. know you see them 40 hours a week? 40 hours a week, whatever, yeah. however many times a week. Well, depending on the person because I have people that I used to work with well, that I'm finish. friends with. Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> For the most part, not, not. Okay. They're Christiana. <laughs> you can make this long drawn out ass point because okay. y'all keep interrupting me <laughs> can I get to the point he like every, trying to explain the story every, every, I gotta start over for the people <laughs> put, put interrupt me and I can get straight to it alright okay. okay. gosh all right. Okay. I'll let you know how to finish how about I'm, that I'm, okay. I'll go, I'm done okay. your turn we'll know. We'll know. Okay. zip it <laughs> act invisible <laughs> glory for the be man <laughs> She's gonna make everybody invisible in this bitch. Uh, <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is that I think us as people, we should be more open to making new friends, even at our current age. I think we do a lot to isolate ourselves from uh, potential harm, but sometimes uh, people who don't even know you have your worst intention. So, like, just be open to more friendship. That's the point. Go ahead. No. <laughs> no. Why? Fuck people. I mean, but we're friends. <laughs> huh? That's it. That's the statement. Fuck people. Fuck people. All right, we've we've become friends. If this because stopped, you adopted me, motherfucker. I don't really I talk about people. You? Like, yep, there we go. <laughs> I think. If, if, I if, think it's the other way around. I joined the company. Yeah, but if if you hadn't, if Derek hadn't recommended, I'd be like, nah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I know enough big niggas. No. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you the more outgoing of, of us in TPM. I don't be talking about like when we be out about. You be talking to everybody. I be like, motherfucker, what you want? That'd be me. 
That's me right there. Right, but even even as opposite as that sounds, me and you still cool. Yeah. We we talk non work shit all the goddamn time. And just because I'm social with you, don't mean we got to be friends. Because I, again, with coworkers, I feel like a lot of people uh, like quick to call their coworkers friends. And even when you do, I feel like you're not friends until so one person don't work there no more. Do you continue contact? Right. Because right. I had a homie, Bobby. I hope you watch this, fucker. Um, <laughs> Talk about fucker. <laughs> He's white. I had to speak his language. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, no, we was tight. We we kicked it every day. I used to get his key from him, go to his house without him there, and like kicking and shit until he came home. We was tight like that. But the moment he stopped working there, excommunicado. I ain't heard from him since. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm like, and I, I, I figured. Bobby, he's hurt. I am. I mean, everybody is, Bobby. Maybe he stole something. He won't say nothing. Who, who him? He was yeah. at his house, so yeah. that's probably what it was. He was oh, like, no. uh, some I, came I up some missing. Cookies. <laughs> he was like, some came up missing. You can't come back over here. about them cookies. <laughs> no, he, he, about them. He, he was fucked up. He don't know about them cookies. <laughs> 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 Me and Kay went to like a little kickback at his house. I was fucked up. And uh, I'm like, you know what? We're ready to go. I grabbed the cookies, put in my coat. It was like, all right, y'all. <laughs> but shoot, some friendships aren't really meant to last a long time either. Uh, uh, but that's not a friendship to me. Friendship, they got to be forever. What's a friendship to you, though? What's so, your definition of a friend? Oh, shit. That's, that's, I don't know, somebody I could count on, uh, somebody I could talk to, somebody I could express uh, more than the, the initial interest that we had. Okay. That's what I consider a friend. Okay. But like I said, I didn't consider, but we was close, but I knew not to, call, not to really consider him a friend until one of us didn't work there no more. Life has taught me that, you know what I'm saying? But in the time being, we're tight as hell. But you're not a friend. We we don't kick it and interact when 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 you have to make time. But you know they do saying? say for the longest. Sometimes people are only in our life for a season, and, and that's fine. And they don't have to be a bad friend. It just stuff happened where y'all. They was only meant to be around for a season. I guess <laughs> I, I, cut, I cut that line though. Can't consider a coworker a friend until one of us don't work there no more. That's convenient. So get off at the same time. Not necessarily. What if it's a meetup? Like y'all are off that day is something I mean, yeah, outside. We, we've done completely. that, but until you have to, I guess make time. I don't time know. You had the out. man gave you his keys. He had to consider your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hope so. At least a little bit at the time. A little bit at the time because he had to have trust you a great deal to give I you keys. I used to convince him to throw kickbacks almost every night after work. He'd be like, nah, I'm going to chill. I'm like, all right, we're going to come over. You go to sleep. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's probably why, because you didn't respect his boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not, God damn, I'm tired of partying with okay. <laughs> You ain't got to party with us. Go to sleep. <laughs> Even when he, he said he didn't want you still talking about he, partying. He's a little closer to the job. So, again, it was convenience. I guess. It sounds like you used the man <laughs> for a venue. <laughs> it was free. You will on this, to be honest, because I, I see, I think prospectively, right? Right. I think, I think uh, down the line, I think long term, right? And I, I agree with you on the aspect of um, it's it's not true friendship until one person doesn't work there anymore, because that's the true test. Right. That's the true test, right? Because if all if the only reason we were kicking it was because we were to work at, we worked together, then we were just coworkers. Cool ass coworkers. Right. <laughs> right. But that's beyond that. He had the man keys. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> right. Okay. But I also think uh, on, the, on the other side of the spectrum where I see a, we all see posts on social media. I'm changing my energy. No new friends. Right. Like, I don't want nobody else unless you got the same energy. I'm doing this. <laughs> but I also see Nigga, that's my sister. To, the, to how, how depressed and lonely they are. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah, yeah. Right? So that's why I agree with you on the, on the like, maybe... You can kind of keep because we're all adults and we don't have time for people that's going to waste our time and our True. energy, right? But at the same time, if a person isn't showing you that they're a bad person and they're cool, then why not at least be like, all right, hey, we just we we met here or you know what I'm saying we've been talking. All right, I'm doing this this weekend. Come through. Come through, right? But I think that's pretty much how friendships start anyway. Unless y'all go to school together or work together or whatever, that's kind of what it is. You make friends by like you out at events or y'all you constantly run into this person, y'all right. talking to each other, stuff like that. I guess that's kind of how it starts. But I mean, right? Because like some people be like, "Oh, I'm gonna have a party," but I don't know them. 
Like they ought to, what, should I invite them? Like just fucking invite them. See what yeah, the fuck let's invite them. It's everything has to it's start. It's better somewhere. to invite them somewhere in a public setting than. To be invited, <laughs> you know. So you say you tried to make friends. What what does that look like for you? Um. What does it look like when Kiana tries to make a friend? I don't know if it's really trying to make a friend because, like, when I used to go on set and stuff, um, I haven't done any of uh, the extra roles in a minute, but um, it would just be certain people you'd be talking to or whatever, like, okay, we're, you know, we stra- exchange numbers and stuff, right. and you might text or whatever, follow each other on social media, mm-hmm. you build some type of rapport then, but, and then you kind of just start, like, oh, you want to hang out, let's go get our nails done, or you want to go get something to eat, but Melanie really be like my designated food friend. We be one <laughs> <laughs> We've been going out to eat together for like for the longest, um, but both with both of our schedules and stuff, um, it's kind of hard to kind of get together as often as we would like to. But yeah, I mean, I I guess me inviting people to stuff that I have going on or saying like, oh, you want to go, you know, go out and get a drink or something like that. So I guess that's as far as I'm going. That's it. Trying for friendships because I don't know how. What else are you supposed to do? <laughs> no, I think that's. Exactly the the formula. Yeah, I, so but I just I, I just hear so many stories of people not trying. You know what I'm saying? I, what is we, not trying or, though? Or looking for any reason they can to give up. Right. They're, okay. Yeah. Every reason they can. But then again, some stuff. I feel like you go. You do have PTSD from bad friendships, bad relationships. Like, oh, okay. I'll, in general, that's and I, I think some of to. those things is what people really be looking at because, for me, it's like people be cool at first. But then, like, if they going out with you or something, like, say, for instance, if you're the one that's getting all the attention, some people might feel some type of way about that. That's what I was going to equate bad past friendships to, to bad relationships. Just because you had a bad relationship doesn't mean you go, no, no new relationships. Some people say that, too. And they end up in another relationship. That's true, but people say that. <laughs> <laughs> and they end up with new friends. But so. no, but you seek relationships. You don't seek new friends. No, people kind of seek them, I guess, too. You don't think so? No. Seeking new friends. Nah. You don't think people seek them? For the well, most I part, no. I seek relationships, so I can't really say that. You just just wake up in a relationship. That's how it happens. Motherfucker, <laughs> 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 well, on the 23rd. Seeking a relationship is like actively. Woke up in a know, relationship. That's kind of what it be like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't be searching. I never really say, oh, I need a man. Like. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to need a significant other to want one. But that's what I'm saying. How do you actually actively search for a significant other as a woman? Dating? What is it that you're... That's dating. But that's somebody... What if it's like a situation where you're not asking for dates, but somebody else came along and approached you, you and you're like, them. okay, that's, so yes. That's but that's dating. still not actively... When you it say is. seek, to me, it looks like you trying to find your king. So, so like, Versus so, him finding you. I guess a lot of women seek... Uh, relationships by going to places where people would ask them out. Mm, no, because sometimes you just go in there. Just <laughs> you just go say no to everything. <laughs> no, because it could be that, or it could be I, I, I know, cool. Look, I, I know, I know, men. We we dogs, and we go approach you wherever. Right, you that's go, what I mean. We'll like, see you in Aldi. And I know. Be like, hey, what kind of cheese you finna buy? I'm finna get the same one. <laughs> I'm gonna call you and let you know how I like it. <laughs> I just, I'd be so annoyed. I'd be minding my business. And it's my, oh, what you cooking tonight? Ooh, like, gee, would you leave me alone? I'm trying to buy my groceries. Like, like, like somebody <laughs> else. Like, why, can I shop with you? Like, they'd be real weird. Like, bro, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not seeking no relationship. They just be approaching me. Because I just feel like people just be like, man, if she say no, I'm I'm still finna go for it. <laughs> I just feel like that's what it is. People be like, "This is my day. I'm finna step outside my comfort zone." So I, sometimes I be like, "I'm like, come on, you come on. You know we not in the same league. Come on." How, how often do you say? <laughs> be real. You, you know that. Right? You say, be real. Like somebody want to walk. Look at you. Place. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. That's why I get confused, right? That's why I think a lot of men are confused because in one hand people would say, "Shoot your shot." But at the same time, she I've never said that. Yeah, Please don't. Thing. Like, I, I feel like you should shoot your, just like y'all be telling women, and y'all know y'all love with uh, what's his name coming around telling women who they need to date lower or lower their expectations. But y'all will tell I'm a man, Kevin Samuels. Sam, Sam, I wasn't going to say his name. I was say it. He who oh, shall remain oh, nameless. Oh, 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 <laughs> you don't want to say his name. <laughs> He's not getting no quiet off me. Anyway, <laughs> so y'all will tell women that they should date 
real in their realistic no, I don't, I don't realm. Like this y'all shit because when I say y'all, you jump straight to personal. You could say personal too. That's your no, fault. No, no. When when I, when I, whenever I was saying the generalization, you jump straight to you. So right. don't say y'all. Say him. The one who can't be it. named. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker. Yeah, right. He, he lived Voldemort on the world show. Y'all be knowing when y'all see a woman and you, you'll say it. You've never seen a woman where you'd be like, okay, she, she definitely out of my league. You've never said that? Yeah. You've never felt that way? Like, you I know. Have. I feel like you know when you see somebody. That don't, that don't, mean, like, that don't mean don't take the shot. I, I do think you do miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't make. I will agree with that, but I just feel like I try to go unnoticed and people go out of their way to notice me. Like, gee, I'm trying to just get in and get out, get my things and go. I don't, I'm not trying to be talked to, but they assume cause you got on, if you got tight clothes on and mean you want a man to try to holler no, at stop. you. You can wear a fucking trash bag. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I've worn basketball shorts and a t-shirt before. This dude was trying to talk to me. I'm like, Girl, why would is, you want to that, talk to me? That is okay. Lingerie. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> No, they wasn't short though. They was like the regular you know, lame basketball shorts. You can be outside with a bonnet. I had a messy bun you, and all, and I'm like, why would you want to talk to me? I'm looking listen, raggedy I'm right now. You right now. Talking about that, if this ahead, new ahead, raggedy, ahead, you, we, you, we, you, we you listen, debunk, uh, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> if a, if you had a bonnet in your jog in your sleeping clothes on and it was loose, they still gonna try to hide. I know it's just what it is. But I That's also why I've told but, people. But that to your point matter. about being approached, I feel like a lot of women are approached maybe. One chick told me she said she may be approached 300 times in one month. And I, and I can understand how that can get, like, exhausting. Yeah, to be honest, it is. So I understand, to your point, where you were saying women say approach them, but at what point do you do we, do we say she probably get approached a lot? Maybe this ain't the right time. What do I have to do with that? All right. I mean, okay, but then you can't turn around and have an attitude if the girl got an attitude because you're approaching her. No, okay, look. You, you're the you 300 talking, nigga that's but, but, but I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm, right, I'm, I'm only saying that because as a man, I don't know what it means to be approached that much. Right. So I only have to. If but I, y'all know by looking at a woman, you could tell the women that get approached a lot. You can tell. Yeah, fat ass in a cute face, I know they get you approached. You can tell. Like, it's, it's pretty caught. Like, you know. <laughs> They're definitely getting approached a lot. But that's what attracts guys. To so, like, that's just like saying... And it, it don't like, even be just the approach. Sometimes some men just in general just don't know how to talk to women. And that'd be most of the issue. That's a I different have. story. I'm not, yeah, that's different. I'm not, I'm not taking that away from anybody. Because they'll just, approach you and say some of the wildest things. I was walking out of Walmart and this dude, the one on 47, that was so ghetto. I don't know why you was over <laughs> <laughs> It's right by my house, so it'd be real quick. Case closed. The fuck? That's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> so there ain't nothing but a bunch of niggas over no, there. <laughs> this man literally yelled out, "Can I watch you put your groceries in your car?" Uh-huh. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, why would you say that? Why would you say some shit like that? Like, that no, you know what? That was kind of creepy. You should have charged him. <laughs> there you go for twenty dollars. Mm-hmm. Hey, you sell feet pics, you can make a lot of money. <laughs> no, hey, women out here selling farts, so. Bro. <laughs> oh wow! When I learned that, I was like, "Niggas, we nasty." Niggas nah, nasty. Yeah. You said disgusting. you lost faith. That's being for you. Buying for you. Know, women mind that. Like, what are you, what are you blaming them for? They supplying the man. They nothing wrong with them. Ain't she right? We don't want that woman. The market is the market. She making a living. I'm not mad at her. That's weird for you to request else. it. Why not? Right? Okay. Shit. If the she got market, a market for it, hey. The market is there for it. Go, Why not? I agree, but it, it'll derail the conversation. Because <laughs> if it was in reverse, then be, everybody be like, oh, be nasty. Because like, women like, aren't man. buying it. It's a market mm. for them. That's <laughs> why she's selling them. I'm saying if it was. Like, she if, didn't. If a guy was bottling his farts and selling them to women, people would be like. I don't even like this conversation no more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking with you. A man could do it if it was a market for it. That's all I'm stating. It's just not a market for it. That's women the only reason why it's Because weird. women are the, are the approachee, not the approacher. That's, that's point blank period. Because if a girl wanted a fart in the jar, men will line up and do it for free. That's true. That's true. You can get a lot from a man for free. For free. That's that's the market. So, a, some a lot of them be so thirsty and ready, like just because you said something to them. So yeah, they be ready. I mean, men, for out here, free. men out here paying women to rape they junk. I'm like, what? What? Yeah. yeah there they are, bro. 
No, yeah. paying women. That's a lot of confidence. To rate right? their junk. Well, pay five, ten dollars or so. That's a lot of confidence. I for guess. her to be like, it's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. She should have kept this one, sir. Kept it with you. It. She just like. One. Right, <laughs> paste. Just copy and paste. <laughs> the same response. All right, look. All right, so we, before we make this way too long, let's move on to something else. Um, I guess we'll make this the last thing. Um, have you ever dated somebody with a lower sex drive, and is that something that's workable in a relationship? I think something like that is workable because it's usually rooted to something. I mean, like, if your guy just legit don't have a high libido, he down to do it once a week. And say, you be ready five times a week. (laughs) Is that a workable situation? If it has to stay like that? (laughs) (laughs) Was it like a bad week? Or what we say? I I mean, because it can go from weeks to, like, he could be like, Nah, I'm good for two weeks. He, um, he ain't in the mood to have sex for like two weeks. Like I said, you ready five days out the seven. Oh, wow. Is, is that something you can deal with in a relationship? Is that workable? I would say in a scenario like that, probably not. Get that rose girl. No, just- <laughs> you, have to get, you have to get somebody. That's where I think a lot of reason why a lot of the relationships don't really work out. People don't find people they're compatible with. Because if you knew that you don't, you find somebody that clearly does, why would you even engage in a relationship with them? Right. So, so you say no. Unless that's something that they could work on. Okay. But if that's what he's saying, that's it for him, let's, I don't let's, know. Let's switch it. Let's say you only need to move once a week. Uh, then I would have to find a dude. <laughs> buddy, buddy ready to go five days out the week. Okay, see, but I don't know. That first scenario is probably not even realistic anyway, because it depends on what you're doing. I mean, you so working you shit. Be those. But I'm saying it depends if you busy shit. You got time to really just be. <laughs> That's a lot. I don't know. I don't know. How much does a person need to have <laughs> What's a regular on the five times a week? God damn! I think what? that's I, a, I think that's an unrealistic <laughs> timeline. <laughs> unless y'all know, yeah, <laughs> unless you have a patient or something. Unless you just gonna quickies. grab that motherfucker while when I doze off. <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, it can be quickies. Just bang it out one time for the one time. Yeah, but like, quickies aren't really realistic for women, okay. though. No, that only works for y'all mostly. No, been unless you kind of like there, but <laughs> most women aren't really like really orgasm from quickies. I don't think so. If you got know what he's doing. I don't think so. That's unrealistic. Nah, I have in a five different minutes, experience. I don't know. Five minutes. Because head is shit happening in five minutes. Yeah, I guess. Well, what's a quickie? What are we saying? Is it, the, it, dep- it depends on the couple. That's why I see, because I thought quickie was like five minutes to maybe, what, ten, five to ten minutes, something like that. Yeah, if you got time, I guess. I don't know. I would think a quickie would have to be in that range. I feel like a quickie is comparable to what you consider long But they say sex. it takes women 15 to f- up to 45 minutes to get like ready. So that's why I say I don't think that's realistic. All right, you're supposed to pre-start. Okay. Yeah, but then that's not a quickie then. Because then the whole, you have to count the time before then. That's not really a quickie. A quickie is supposed to be like split decision right there. Five to 10 minutes. <laughs> and you generalize it. Because if you do, if you focus in on the foreplay or whatever, that's time too that has to be counted right. into it. right. So if it's 10 minutes, then that's what, five minutes of foreplay, five minutes of, I don't know. It just don't seem like it's a lot. Yeah. (laughs) I've witnessed women orgasm in about under 10 minutes. And you know for sure that they did? Yes. For sure. 100%. 100%. Yes. Because people, it's it's people out here who are good actresses. That's all basket. I mean. Hey, we just heard. uh, Right. That's what I'm saying. For uh, 10 years. Yeah, what's the name of Breakfast Club? DJ, DJ, DJ Envy. Yeah. Yep. For the first 10 years of her marriage, she, she was, was faking. faking them. And he really thought that she was for real. That's what I'm saying. That, he took that mediocre way. dick to that uh, Erica chick. <laughs> what Erica girl? What? Uh, he cheated on his wife who, uh, cele- with another celebrity. Yeah. Oh, okay. But uh, it's time for a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why she would put herself through that. For, for that long. And they got kids, and you just. You just let this man be unsatisfactory and shoot up the club like that, girl? I'm not going to lie. In 10 years, she probably had somebody on the side. Had to. Was, you you have something to say? I yeah, think that's a lot to of be realistic. women not having orgasms is their fault. I think so, too. 
Honestly. You allowed that shit. Yeah, you allowed it. Yeah. I, Oh, come on. You got something to say? <laughs> he yep. said it's our fault. No, yes. To, to go on and fake it, yes, that's that's a different level of mental would, illness. But I, And I understand that you can't, some of these dudes is fragile and they'll take it no, too far. No, but I'm, no. I'm saying if you tell them If, that, I, if that that's the last like, words that's going to come out of my mouth, you're going to kill me after that, I want to make sure I embed this in no, your no, mind. No, no, hold on, hold on. terrible. Hold on. <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just getting the stream out the way because I know But no, I see what you're saying, it. but that's not usually the case. I oh, think if I you can like, say, if it's just y'all two, he can't be that embarrassed. Right. It's not like you posted it on Facebook. No, not, not even. I, when, I, when I say it's, it's y'all fault, not expressing what feels good and what don't during sex. You know what I'm saying? If if that's the spot, let me know it's the fucking spot. Well, obviously. But no, I'm saying not she... obviously my ass. Women don't say shit. And they just be going with the flow. Obviously. They try they trying yeah, to please us. She, she went them. 10 years. No, I, I, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm not going 10 years. I hope you wouldn't do that. <laughs> no one does. I hope, I, I I'm would not rather... going 10 days. Look now, see, you need to get this together because this isn't going to work. Yeah, I mean, work it, on commu- this. I think a lot of people fail at communication because you, the more you communicate about the situation, mm-hmm. the better it's going to be. Right. But they feel like it's going to be some type of... Because sometimes it's not what you say, it's how you say it, and then somebody could be offended either way. So it's probably reasons why they don't. But I'm going to tell you right now, a woman, you want to be pleased, just say the shit, because, man, we're nasty, and we're going to do it. (laughs) If you like whatever you like, just just tell us, because we're going to do it. And again, if we we have an intercourse, and I got you in a certain position, and that's the spot, hold you there, say that shit. So I know this is how to get you to orgasm. You know what I'm saying? Same thing oral. If I'm doing it correctly, say that shit. Because vice versa, I'm going to say that shit. Yeah. You doing your job. Yes, that feels good. That right there. All right. So so there you go. <laughs> and you go, all right, boom. This is what this person yeah, likes. I do, I a lot of women don't say that shit. A lot of women don't, I don't say shit. I don't know why she would go 10 years to be honest. That's, that's just stupid. Women are not too nice. In that regard, yeah, because way too many women have the same experience. Yeah, because it was a lot of people I'm in the not comments. Saying shit. But yeah, that was a lot of people it's, in the comments. It's, 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 it's I, I don't know. Is do you think it's that women love <clears throat> keeps them from wanting to hurt the man's feelings? Probably not wanting to hurt the ego. And then yeah. I think some of them. I think it's really just trying I, to protect. I didn't even watch the interview. What would you say? I think it's really mostly just trying to protect the ego. And. And then, and then some situations like with his or whatever, maybe she felt like um, he she wasn't gonna get extra gifts or something if she didn't say it. I don't know. It, you never know in the situation because the man is rich, so she probably like let me play along and so I can get my uh, my allowance or whatever he give us. <laughs> <laughs> so it might be a situation like that, but I don't know. I don't know what would make somebody go that long. Or really any amount of time, because that seems like a lot of work to be trying to faking something like that. At that point, I mean, shit, she could. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I I I feel like he should have known. Yeah, that's I see. You blame women. I blame. I blame him. Because I feel like you need to know the full size. Because all he the, said the, was the sound that she made. He didn't talk about nothing that else. Means she faked it from day one. And he thought that shit was real. He That's thought on her. Because of the sound. <laughs> She's been lying for 10 years. Since day one. He he go he go and and she go oh, and she that got that leg. That means I did it. But so. how is it that men and then he had the nerve to be cheating? He don't even know what he's doing in the bedroom. That's the part. That's the audacity right there. It's like, gee, you. How are you so? How are you so uneducated about something that you having sex with, and then with multiple women? So I agree with you that you should at least under like be able to pay attention to your partner, right? And know certain things, but it's not going to just be a sound. He said she made a sound. That's not going to be just that. But, I mean, if that's their relationship, she, no, she set the terms. Uh, right. Orgasm? No, orgasm is not going to just be a sound. It's that's not always full thing. body orgasms. No, I don't think it's it's more to it than that. You should feel it. It's it's a it's a thing going on. It's something on. there, and then there's also <laughs> you know what the fuck I'm. Yeah. Y'all know. Am I right yeah. or wrong? It's it's a it's a thing going on Contract, when it happens. Contracting. Yeah, but then you also had to no, because people could still be doing the little kegels. You know, people know nah, how to tighten you, you it. You only can fake that for so long. That muscle is on because when it's a real orgasm, that shit's involuntary. You know, they got the little kegel. What you call yeah, it? Little kegel balls. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. I understand. I understand. You so can somebody that shit. could just practice that shit all you want. You practice all you want. So I'm gonna still real... stand on women should say something. No, women should say something, but I also oh, feel like men that. could also educate themselves about it too. Yes, Almost but only I only could know. I could only know. 
your reactions to what the fuck you do and what you tell me. So if you tell me that that sound and that leg shake equal your orgasm, then that's what the fuck it is. But they put women in two categories. They no, say why women... are you trying to keep defending oh, no. this? Oh, no, I'm not defending it, but give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. So they put, if they put women in two different categories, they say you either a squirt or a cream or whatever. If neither of those things happen, you didn't do shit. So is that is that a fact? That's a fact. That, that's only two things. Squirting you know? is overrated. I'm not. I'm not here to judge on one side or anything. I'm just stating that they. So that's that's the only two ways. Just like when y'all come reach it, or you go cream. That's something. Yeah, you're not gonna just. It's not gonna just be dry. Like that's it. She just made a sound. That's it for an orgasm. Bro, y'all don't like these comments up, bro. I swear to God. (laughs) I'm just saying for orgasm. What do you think? Big cat. Just like something comes up for y'all when y'all have it, it would be the same for a woman. Girl, we could run fast and shit run between our legs something go happen. <laughs> okay, but I'm just pointing out <laughs> my point My point to that is it's not gonna be nothing. I faked it before. But I'm just my point. It, nothing it's is, right nothing is there. It was it. <laughs> it's still war. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my point though. The fact that you said you had to do that because it was nothing coming out. Clearly it didn't come there. Go. I was ready to go. But it, the point is you did not reach that point is my point that's all i'm saying it's gonna be something there like it's not gonna just be my, my, oh my uh, her making that, a sound in a movement no, that's not my, gonna be just it my, my thing is that if i can fake it as a man you're not always gonna see it i just be like oh shit that was the shit girl no my, my business. Mm. no you be like uh-uh open a hand let me make sure oh i know i'm not oh, i know that's never been the case with me i, I, I can't uh-uh no. nigga that's hell a loogie no. <laughs> hell no <laughs> No, hell no. I can't say Man, I've never can been in too. no situation like that before. Because <laughs> you ain't worried about it. No, because that ain't something that... Mm-mm. But you're right. People should speak up. I agree with that. But then I also think on the flip side, no people but. should be educated about it. Right, right. What, what you guys say? How can we educate ourselves? We can only educate ourselves based on what you're telling us. Or our, or our history. No, and that's only you can women. literally pick up a book. You could literally Google Oh, my God. Books. You read a book that defines you? I'm just women. stating that they could still women tell are you what different. it is. What I'm saying, women, women are so different, vary from person to person. There's no book that's going to describe the woman no, that you're with. No, but I think that the end goal, the end result is the same is what I'm pointing out. Like, it's going to be you still coming regardless. Something's going to happen. Like, people be assuming like it's going to just be, it's not gonna, he said she made a sound. Like, he didn't say, oh, you screwed it everywhere or whatever. She was like, like <sighs> she made a sound. He <laughs> she was like, that she did. I'm like, what? That's not because she's because <laughs> she doesn't have anything to fake. Look, she, it's not there. She made a sound. She said, oh, he said, oh you going? <laughs> Ah. Y'all got anything else to say? I guess the 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 whole conclusion of the, of this is fucking honest communication is key. Goddamn, hundred <laughs> percent. Honest communication. Stop lying to these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Hurt they feelings if you have to. That's the only way niggas go learn. Yeah. <laughs> I would much rather be told like, nah, you ain't. This ain't do it. That ain't do it for me. Then. Than me believing that I actually did something. Yes, I'd rather my feelings be hurt that I could not get you to come to completion than for me to think I'm the man. But then again, Megan Thee Stallion did say if you got an ex, then you didn't. So, so I, I'm just last thing. Um, I'm reading that the average quickie lasts two and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. That's white people. <laughs> That's not even gonna work. That's a waste of time. At that point, you're just a sex toy. Just, <laughs> okay, like, come on. No, two, come on. Two but that's why I said they're pointless for women because that's not something, well, at least for me, personally. No. That's that, that's that. Okay. <laughs> Hurry up. Here, man. <laughs> come on, man. Let's go. Try to fold these clothes. <laughs> You said 14. 19. Okay, 19. Foreplay. Okay. That's some hardcore fucking. (laughs) Say hardcore. (laughs) Shaking the bed. (laughs) Put the pillow behind it. (laughs) Well, I mean, you do need to make sure you allow more time. I think it should be more time, yeah, for the foreplay, for sure. I mean, foreplay is fun. That's That's why I make sure I get ahead before anything. Because, bitch, I'm going to tire out quick. (laughs) 
<laughs> right, I'm gonna make sure you come from from oral one good time, so I ain't gotta worry about it. <laughs> you can't one, I can't one. <laughs> can't game strong, goddamn. <laughs> hey, when you make those realizations about yourself, that's good. So <laughs> yeah, that's wrong with it. Because <laughs> not doing it, not coming at all, would just be a complete waste. Like wow. And again, that's on I think you. Most, a lot of well, I don't know. I don't know the exact number. I know what they were saying a lot of women come from. Uh, play stimulation anyway mm-hmm. more than they would penetration. Right. right, it's harder. That's why I said if he did, that, if all he went by it, was the sound. It's like okay, so you didn't really do nothing. Imagine being DJ Cali wife. No, he don't even go but, down. It ain't, it, he I what? Mean, I mean, he was DJ Cali don't eat coochie. Yeah, he said nah. No. Well, Nicki Minaj, the, in the words of Nicki Minaj, ain't no fat nigga finna tell me what he ain't. <laughs> 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 no, but. I, I mean, I haven't really. I thought about. I it feel offended. Right now. I'm just gonna. Say. <laughs> <laughs> she said what she said. As DJ Envy, I mean, he been eating the box wrong too. Shit, I, he been doing everything wrong. That's embarrassing Jeez. for both of them. Her mind must go somewhere else during that time. I don't know what she's doing, but I don't Housewife. know how she got to that. <laughs> <laughs> that's her crazy. Ten years thinking about her side guy. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh man, that's that's messed up. I'd be hurt, straight up hurt. Ten years, not one time. We gotta fight you. <laughs> we gotta fight. We gotta you. fight. Like put, put, these, put these gloves on, G. Just <laughs> like, like a man. That's why she didn't want to say nothing. You stroke my ego. Like that. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't say knock her out. It's a fair fight. Hell, a grown ass man up against a woman. That's definitely not a fair fight. Uh, women no can do whatever a man can do. No, I ain't never said that. <laughs> I ain't never said that. No. Nah. <laughs> All right, man. Let's 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 wrap this up real quick. Um, anything else you want to talk about? I'd like to close the segment with niggas ain't shit. That's that. Oh, you gonna open up a whole nother can of fucking worms? Because when she say that, because I believe that y'all are the reason why the weather is not warming up. Because oh, in the words, hold on, in the words. <laughs> Of one of the people on the No Key podcast, Jay Every Day, these hoes ain't shit neither. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you on that too, though. I agree with both statements. These hoes ain't shit neither. You say shit, I'm definitely not. And I ain't a nigga. Get get it together. Um, you a fat nigga? Let's keep it. <laughs> and you a feet fucking nigga. <laughs> Oh, wow, the battery died right when you said this. I don't fuck feet. Hold on now. Let's not forget we have a child in the room. <laughs> It must. It must. That's what I'm saying. That's why I've been trying to watch. Ah, bad. That's why I've been trying to watch how I was saying something. Ah, bad. You should have said something. Um. All right. Let's 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 go ahead and wrap this up. Um. What I always ask: If you could have one of these things free for life, what would you have? Tacos or wings? Free for life. Tacos. Tacos. Why tacos? Because it's more uh, ver- versatility with it. What you feeling today, Kurt? You got chicken. You got all types tacos. of stuff you could do. Tacos. 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 I don't know. You think time travel is real? Stuff. I do think that's real. Like how? Like how? Like how real? Like it's already invented. I feel like it's happened before. I think they put it into mo- too many movies and stuff for that to not to you know have happened at least once. <laughs> so if time travel has already happened, how come no one has came back from the future to the past to make time travel happen earlier? Because they said these niggas are stupid nowadays. Me. So how, how far? I heard that from at least the way they say it is you can't make changes and stuff like that, and you can't warn it's the them butterfly effect. Self. You can't warn your future self. You can't say certain stuff. So maybe it happened already. They, they had to go back and fix the shit. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. They came up with this stuff. You trying to tell me that's the Mandela effect? Yeah. Hey, hey nobody came back and saved Martin Luther King, or maybe they came back and killed them. You already know my stance on that shit. <laughs> that uh, elf. Time travel exists in the future. Niggas ain't got no access to it. We probably in, in change. You're right. 
Because I would have been came back and shot whoever shot Martin Luther King. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, free some ancestors too when I was at. <laughs> yeah. Seeking boats. Just yeah. ne- we never got here. Man, I would be in the history book. Well, he was starting to realize Captain he Kirk. fucked up. <laughs> at the time that they killed him. Because at first, if he was going to come back as the same one talking about uh, let's get rid of segregation and all that shit. No. Cause you know he was he was changing his his I mindset. I know I said he went. That time, I say, yeah, he, he went from all. That's why they killed him. They he went from all that peaceful shit to like, hey, look, hey, uh, brother right. Malcolm is starting to be right. So let's let's go ahead and take action. The and they hit him with a boat action. A <laughs> I'd have been marching. With, I've been with his ass. I definitely would. Why you think we ain't got no leaders like that now? That's what Dr. Uber was supposed to be, you know? <laughs> <laughs> He's supposed to be like the modern day Michael. Uh, Michael. No, actually, Malcolm X. I was looking like a, That's about all he is. Yeah. Nah, he, I thought he like spoke out on issues and he stuff. He do. And not. again, he says. Well, you, well, my kid, you have to unlock your mind. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what he was supposed to be. I'm trying to build an all boys school. He still ain't did nothing. But they killed, they've shown, history has shown us that man, that person does not live long. They, they yeah. after your ass. They all right, so we had we had Sean King, who we man. not who we not even sure if he black all the way. He not. Um, he not. That nigga is they had the Black Lives uh, Matters lady, and, but they they just bought like a six million dollar house. Oh wow! Well. Yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna have to look into that. Yeah. You know these stories, they be, no, that's real. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get the let's get the fuck up out of here. You want to remind the people who you are? Y'all looking at camera? This one died. Oh, okay. I sure thought the <laughs> what you call it was it. Um. Oh, yeah. My name is right up here, though. Tiana Pink said, uh, make sure you send me a text message call or whatever so you can book an appointment. Um, I'm located in Evergreen Park, but you do need an appointment to sh- come up there. So. She's going to be late. Don't worry about not this plan. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been one of those people that I'm charging you a late fee if you're late. Like, if you're a little late, I'll be understand. People be late, and I'll be late, so it's fine. It worked out. It worked <laughs> out. We both late. <laughs> yeah. We end up coming at the same time, you know, so Are you sure? Work out. Can you tell <laughs> I was like, please, please, please. I guess she can't tell. So. Because you gotta ask. Anyway, um, make sure y'all follow me on all social media platforms. Simply just will. Make sure y'all following us. Third post media, post like your heartbeat, not plus post none of the other bullshit y'all be typing in. Uh, to find out everything that we're doing, go to thirdpostmedia.com. That way you can find all the links. Never mind. Curtis is telling me, don't go there. So just go to, <laughs> go to the social media, y'all. So, uh, Third Post Media everywhere. Um, anything you want else? Anything else, Kurt? Uh, no, that's about it. Oh, the hoodies come down. The Created by Curtis hoodies are coming down May 1st. May 1st. That's, might as well not even say shit because that's Sunday. Oh, shit, and it's come yeah. out on Monday. Yeah. So the hoodies will be down. Be, they'll be gone. <laughs> new t-shirts. I got a bunch of new t-shirts. Out Look out for new over. t-shirts, Created by Curtis.com. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, anything spaces you gotta say? These hoes ain't shit. We out. What?